everybody, uh, it's LDR Artist Games here, and today I wanted to do a what's in my pencil case uh, tour. So here's my two pencil cases that I take everywhere with me. We got a Boku no Hero plus ultra one that has Deku and Bakugo on it. And then we have this one I got uh, from Walmart during a couple years ago. So I've had this one ever since. It's green and black, my two favorite colors, and my little Slytherin button I got at Comic Con with my boyfriend uh, about a year ago. And sorry, I was sketching, but it's blank. I had no spoilers. <laughs> so today we're gonna start with this one. And you can see my watercolor set here in the background, but here we're focused on sketchbook. Um, okay, so let's open it. It's kind of an awkward angle for me to film at, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the Slytherin pocket, which is how I mark all of my liners and pencils. Okay, so this is what I take with me, oh, some of the things straight in here, uh, when I go somewhere. Like if I'm going to the laundromat, or if I'm going, um, sorry, I need an eraser. <laughs> if I'm going to like the mall or, you know, somewhere, well, now during a pandemic, I can't really go to many places. But yeah, so let's start with my needed eraser. I got this at Michael's for about a dollar. It was a, a Dallin Rowney kneaded eraser, and I really like it. I just like kneaded erasers in general. I think every artist should get a kneaded eraser. Um, then we have my four favorite pencils that I use. Uh, we got this Zebra Z Grip Plus pencil. I have one in green and blue, and these are really good. And I like how the lead is, and I just and you can get them at like Walmart in the school supply section. <laughs> Uh, and then we have my two Bic uh, 7mm HB uh, mechanical pic pencils, Blech. both in green because I like green, it's one of my favorite colors. Um, we have my sketching pen, which is just the pen y'all saw me use in last week's video. Um, just got it at a- my dad got it for me at a bank, so yeah. And then we have this pen, which has my full name engraved on it, so I'm gonna block that out, but my uh, grandfather made me this as a graduation gift, <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, then we have my blue Sharpie pen, which I sometimes use for sketching. I mainly use it for lining, like if I'm drawing uh, tears, or if I want like a blue line and then blue marker, I usually use this. And you'll see that in a minute, I really like colored line art. And here is my little phone pencil uh, that I use for uh, when I want to draw on my phone, which is what I'm using to film right now. <laughs> so um, this is what I use to make digital art, which if you guys want to see another digital art speed paint, I will happily do. And here is the zebra lead. This is basically where I store all my lead because I mainly exclusively use 7B or 7 size pencil lead. So there you go. And I know not a lot of people ask for this, but I wanted to make this video because... <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna move that aside. Oliver's Antics inspired this video, and I love them. Okay, here we go to my liners. <laughs> I have five microns. Oh, that's not a micron, that's a... Okay, so my five microns I have, they're all in 05 except for the red. It's, a, it's in PN, which means plastic plastic nib. And yeah, I have the colors red, green, and brown. And I have these. these. The brown is what I use for skin tones, or like to outline skin. And the rest of the colors I just bought because why not. Um, next we have my main black liners, which are the Prismacolor liners. And I have sizes 108, uh, chiseled, 005, 3, and brush. So these are my liners. Yeah, it's not focusing. Focus. Oh well. But yeah, <laughs> you kinda, they're just the Prismacolor. I got these at Walmart, uh, f for about nine bucks. I bought, like, multiple packs, though, so these are, like, years old. And then I have my three, uh, Uniball Signo Jelly Pins. I have gold, silver, and white. These are my favorite gel pins ever made. <laughs> they are so amazing. Okay. Now we're done with that. I'm going to put these all back. I might not put the rubber band back on, but then again, I might because I like to keep my liners separate. <laughs> that way I know where they are, but 
It's fine. I'm gonna put all these back in here. Needed eraser goes up the edge. I might have to get okay. Next in this one, we have my two chunky, just plain white erasers. I really like this one because it's soft and it erases really quickly. This one I kind of use because it's tinier and I kind of made a little corner. I use it for like details. So those are my two erasers. Then here we go. I have these alcohol markers. Um and Okay, since one of my black Ohuhu markers stopped working, I always carry black Sharpies on me. Always. Because if I need a, a color or an area that's black, Sharpies. And I always have three. Always three Sharpies. I'll put those back. <laughs> so these are the Artist Loft alcohol markers. I have the color Powder, which is YR14. And if you can focus... Please focus. Sorry, for some reason the autofocus doesn't want to work. But yeah, these are what I use for my light skin tones. The caps can be very deceiving, so I recommend swatching. Swatch your colors. But these are pretty decent. Um, they're very similar. The color is very similar to uh, YR000 in Copics. So that's why I have three of them, because most of my characters do have light skin tones. Even though, right now I'm incorporating a character, like you heard in the last video, that has a deeper skin tone. Okay, so here we go to Pale Pink, which is a different color than I thought it was. Uh, pale Copper, which is... Okay, Pale Pink is E15. We have E39 Pale Copper and R22 Cherry Blossom. I use this one for really deep blushes. This one mainly for hair color, sometimes shading on deeper skin tones. This one... I haven't really found a use yet because it's more of a grayish pink, so I can't really, I don't know what to use that for, but yeah, this is that pencil bag. Zip it. Oh, no, the sh erasers. <laughs> Zip. Okay, remove that aside. Next is the weeb bag, which I'm calling this. Okay, so we're going to open it. Here is where I store all of my Copics that I've bought or been given over the years. Um, most of these Copics I got on sale at Michael's because these my cousin gave me. Um, these and this R1, R01 my cousin gave me because she didn't want them anymore. Um, and here's all my light skin tones in a bundle with a couple blush colors. I use mainly YR00 and YR000, also E000 and E00, which is um, Cotton Pearl, E00 is Cotton Pearl, E000 is Pale Fruit Pink. I use this one for really, really light skin tones, and since I got mainly the light skin tones that I like, which are Y00 and E00, I got those in the Copic sketch markers also. Um, so yeah, these are all my Copic little light skin tones. These are kind of my deeper skin tones that I have, that you've seen, but I'm. it has a couple grays for some reason in there. I don't know why they're in there. But then I have like uh, some white colors and a uh, gray and yeah, I don't know how to do marker tours, but I will list all the color names in the description if you want to get these. The Copic Chow markers are cheaper, they're about $5. Um, are six dollars and the Copic uh, sketch are eight dollars a pop a, a marker, but um, I prefer the Copic Chows just because it's the same like brush and chisel, but it's just smaller. You can see it's kind of dressed. Well, it's like you know not as much ink, but they're still really good markers. I highly recommend. But if you can't afford um, Copics. There's also the Artist Loft markers that I showed you, which are about $3 a marker. And the powder is very similar to YR00 for a really pretty light skin tone. Always find dupes, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, most of these were gifts, and a lot of these I got on sale, which is why I have so many. And I know a lot of people's Copic collections are way more impressive than mine. So, you know... Oh, I think my camera fell a little bit. Okay. But yeah, that was a... Uh, what's in my pencil bag tour if you guys want a full look at uh, what art supplies I use let me know in the comments and I'll make that video for next Wednesday
have a great day love y'all remember that you're valid and i want y'all to take care of each other and stay positive love you Mwah.